This is the HD Zero Mobula Eco Woo. That's right, for only $149, you can now have just over 23 grams of whoop indoor outdoor goodness like you've never seen before you know one of the things that happened when we started getting hd zero and other hd systems was that the prices and the weights both ballooned Bruh. but carl and his team have finally managed to shrink both this is almost light enough to race competitively with and if you're not one of the top 10 percent racers you could easily do race gal i gal or any of the whoop competitions but for flying around your house or around your friends and family i'll easily take the extra few grams for the better image quality that this thing can provide this is an 0702 motor and they bump the kv all the way up to 28,000 and give you some aggressive rebladed props to make up for a little bit of that weight now while this might be slightly heavy compared to a ultra competitive racing whoop machine which would come in somewhere around 16 to 17 grams compared to the whoops that we had a while ago this is still super light here's an analog 533 custom racing whoop and it comes in at 17.1 grams this is the mo beetle also by hoppy model that comes at 17.3 grams in fact i weighed one of these brushed whoops that we used to fly that had way less power than this almost 26 grams so this is lighter than that and in fact i'm reviewing another analog binder fly whoop and this is lighter than that so by non-racing standards and you know what it's kind of unfair to compare these to ultimate racing machines because it's sort of like trying to compare your family car to a formula one car yeah they're both cars but they're meant for a different thing this though is almost like my tesla yeah it's not the fastest but it's pretty dang fast in some of my outdoor clips i get a little bit of jello that's because i drug this thing all the way with me to international open thinking that i might get some racing packs in the tiny whoop tent but whoop racing started a little bit later so this is ryan acting like he's not drunk uh, yeah, i'm not drunk <laughs> And I just didn't have the time and I ended up just hanging out instead. I had this squished in my backpack and it sort of squished the frame a little bit. And I think that's why you see Jello. Uh, what I did when I got home was I kind of smoothed it all out, made sure nothing was hitting, and my indoor clips are after I fixed that. So you can see no jello in the indoor clips, but a little bit of jello on the outdoor clips. That is not a problem with this whoop in general. It was just because I had it squished, but it was a pretty easy fix. There are a couple of weight saving measures that you could do with a setup like this although rumored is you're going to be able to get something slightly smaller very soon but you know in terms of fpv how soon is soon anyway happy models new super x hd express lrs built-in package right here if this was a racing whoop, you could actually strip a few grams off of it by knocking off these connectors and directly soldering wires to this board on top you have your familiar hd zero whoop light board right here with a little antenna poking out the back for your video system um so you do see that it is a two layer setup right here you know if you can get this form somewhere in the 17 gram range with the same video system maybe with an all-in-one board that supports it that would be incredible but for $150 basically only about $30 more than a regular whoop you kind of forget how nice HD zero is compared to analog and we really have been just using analog on this size for so long that we're just so used to it and then when you put on something like HD zero man what a difference now this ecosystem is more like the original shark bite system by hd zero it's essentially a digital transmission with sort of an analog like camera so your image quality is not going to be the same as the other hd zero cameras but it is going to be better than analog so somewhere in the middle the pro is that you get a huge reduction in weight because of the system that's why in the back you can see like the traditional four little camera wires coming out rather than a mippy cable I just can't believe that for such a low price, you can get this setup right here. Regular tiny whoop like this, like would cost you 100 to 110 bucks. So for 40 to 50 bucks, you can now get HD and you can use your HD zero goggles. So for people going into the hobby now for the first time, a lot of times we would push you towards analog because analog is just easier to fly with whoops but now you can do it with hd zero so if you have the cash to buy once you can go all the way up to hd zero goggles if you're not interested in starting on the dji side and then you can become a whoop master these things can fly just about anywhere i don't love the battery connector that they picked for this thing weird 
G and B connector that I have no batteries for. But if you just take a little pair of snips and snip out that little line in the middle, you can fit a BT2 battery on here. I could have just switched that connector out, but as it turns out, I'm far too lazy to do that. So what do you think in the comments, guys? Are you HD whooping? Are you HD zero whooping? I put all of my packs on the 533 bespoke custom racing machine, but next year I'm hoping to be able to use HD zero for race gal. Thank <laughs> you.